Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be Better Golf, click the subscribe button if you have a second. I'm here with John Novosel. Hey John. Hey, how's it going Brendan? You guys might know John from Tour Tempo, his family company that it really revolutionized the way people thought about tempo. And we're at the Jayhawk Club today that just had a big remodel, huh? Oh, it's incredible. Beautiful day, beautiful course, pretty exciting, yeah. Yeah, we got like 73 degrees and uh, we're gonna try to get some golf in and uh, talk a little bit to John about his history with golf and everything. John, uh, tell us, what are you gonna try to do, like first first shot, what are you usually trying to do? Oh, Cause man. you're a long drive guy. You're yeah, just that, I mean, to here's the thing, when, when, yeah. you, when, you, when you've been a long drive guy and then you, um, and, and I really train my students for speed and then I train myself for speed, Yeah. there's almost no throttling back. If most people coming to you are coming. Everybody coming to me is coming to hit it further, which I yeah. love because yeah. it's really fun. Everybody gets excited about it, so it makes golf fun. But so when I get out here, I, I like the fact they've opened this course up for me, which is great. Um, and here at the Jayhawk Club, but uh, I'm I try to just get into actually the tempo. Okay. I know that sounds cliche because I'm tour tempo, but if I can get the right rhythm, then the speed will take care of itself. Because I find when I try to slow down, it's almost like steering it or controlling it, yeah. and that doesn't help. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna we're doing a whole bunch of videos tomorrow. I was watching on Instagram. John has a really cool Instagram tour tempo, and. You've had a lot of tour pros and like really high level players come out specifically to get more speed. Right. The, yeah. You know, yeah, the main two would be Ryan Ramir, won the National Club Pro last year, mm -hmm. incredible player, yeah. and then Chris Thompson, who's on the PGA Tour. Yeah. What was cool with both those guys is they don't want to have to change their swing, right? Because right? Yeah. they're already at a super high level. Yeah. And that's what we were able to do is increase their speed without changing their swing. Almost like a doctor. Do no harm. <laughs> yeah, that, do no. That's, that's a big one. That's the very first thing. That's yeah. a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. And uh, I think that's that's kind of what I like doing is uh, now if you want to change your swing, we can talk about that. But and with some of the amateurs, we, we try to make I try to make workarounds. I try to work around the conscious mind. Yeah. So I try to give them a drill or device that will create a little more speed for them or a little better mechanics without telling them what to do. Yeah. Because once you start talking mechanics, you, you hurt speed. Because thinking, you can't think and have a lot of speed at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this ball. Right. John's uh, gonna film this. I'm gonna one. film this to fun. get your tempo. Okay. Actually on the course when I'm yeah. maybe not thinking about it. I don't know. Oh, it can work. That'll work. We'll, we'll count your frames on that one and see what you have. Usually I have a no lefties policy on the channel, but <laughs> I'm gonna make no a, lefties allowed. Make it an exception. It, very, it looks very strange to people. Yeah. Tag that. You really did. I think you're you're right. See where those two blue stakes? Yeah. I saw it bouncing up near those. You should be almost pin high. All right. What do you got there? 74. Bushnell Pro XE. He's got 74 yards of the flag, but it's actually playing 75. That's with air pressure and temperature and slope. Good, that looks really good. Oh, go Ruben. back! Oh, oh okay. man! Yeah, just no spin out of the rough, but yep. on the green. So it was 325, 59 yards offline. Pythagorean theorem means you hit that <laughs> theorem, 340, maybe. Bill, Bill Mickelson's made a good living doing this. Skipping it. Skipping it. Oh, I like this. Really good. Slope, not that way. Yeah, kind of a soft landing, but it was a good shot. Oh, awesome. awesome. Wow, this thing's got some slope to it. It really does. Yeah, here it comes to me. Wow. That's good. Oh no. It just it's unbelievable. Yeah. It? That is almost uh illegal. Yeah, it's sideways. 
All right, guys, 484 yards, par four, extreme dog leg left. So you're gonna, oh, you're perfect for a monster fade, huh? Yeah, I can hit a fade here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little laser reading on that bunker. So 300 to carry that last bunker. Um, I think that's about the line right there for, for where I'm wanting to go. Um, so you're gonna try to carry it 300 in the air? Yep. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna go. If you go dead uh, straight yeah. at that uh -huh. last, the tree right in the middle of the fairway, it's 322 to that tree. Okay, perfect. Oh, you might be carrying that no, thing. No, God, no. No? I'm in that long grass. You hit it pretty solid, though. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, you killed it, John. You killed it. That was pretty good. It should be all right. No, I see it bouncing. Yeah. It's, it landed past that 300-yard bunker. Yep. And then it kicked to the left. That is the drive of your life. <laughs> On camera. I've One never, se I've never seen you hit a drive that good. <laughs> of all the two drives I've seen you yeah. hit, I've never seen a drive that good. It's rough is like so new that it's like real thick. Oh, it's <laughs> U.S. Open thick. Yeah. All right. Two, two seventeen playing two ten. Yeah. Two seventeen playing two ten. This might come up a little short, but I'd be okay. It with is that. heavy rough. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be really good. Go. It's got a hook left when it hits. I didn't see it, but it should take a grounder there. That should Ground be hook. really good. And this drive has got to make you finally feel like a real man. Yeah, that's right. So do a little math for us. What do you have left, and how far did you just hit that drive? So I got 145, so I hit it 340. Yeah, that's very good. I would good. say, I don't know. There wasn't really much, the wind wasn't doing much. Um, <laughs> It was a little sideways, but not much. Yeah. It's supposed to be, the reason we're playing so, we're trying to get it in today is because it's supposed to like blow totally sideways tomorrow, so. My only question is. You have 140? Yeah, look at this line. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that takes some actual golf practice to that get used to hitting shots gonna, like that. Yeah, you need to be, so I'll give you a little tip and we'll see if I can pull this off. For me, I gotta take a little swing here. Okay. Yeah. I gotta go like that. We'll see if I can do it. Men's in the back, so all I gotta do is land this on the front. Oh, I lost it in the sky, but it was on a great line. See it? Oh! This right by the pen. But it went about an inch from the from the stick and then peeled off to the back fringe. Very good shot. John wanted me to show you guys this. This is really <laughs> cool. Done. And if you get it on there kind of like that, it, this thing is not going anywhere, so. Done. That was a good shot, but it's not gonna. Okay, I'll have a putt at it, but. It's just a tough spot. They have it on a little bump there. Have a 12 footer for par. For a hell of a birdie. Yeah, this would be a hell of a birdie. Oh! <laughs> a hell of a par. Hit it a little firmer than you might think. Oh no. Yep. Oh, yes. yes! There it is! Beautiful! Because it did. It, it did exactly what you said. Did what I said? I gave up on it. Well, that's two very different kind of ways to make four. <laughs> so that's, that's golf for if you. If that was match play, I would be like, I just <laughs> yeah, played right. so much better than yeah, you right. on that hole, and you tied me. Yeah. But that's golf. So tell, tell us about your golf career. What, was the, what do you think was the highlight of your personal playing career? Or long drive career, whatever, whatever <laughs> like with a golf club in your hand, what was the highlight so far? Uh, being part of a good high school team and playing college golf. And then, you know, when I was doing long drive, I think I was the smallest guy by far. Yeah. And uh, just even competing with those guys was a lot of fun. And um, 
so th those would be the things. And then just coming out and uh, just like everybody else, just trying to find how you can uh, develop a, a, a fun, powerful athletic golf swing and bring it out here. And what it, was so. your longest drive in competition? 402 in competition. That was 2006. <laughs> oh, very good. So that good. was back when wow. 402 was like... What was the driver you hit? That, that was the old TaylorMade R7 Super oh, Quad. Yeah, yeah. I that, love that club. That thing was that popular thing. for about eight years. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, good club. Um, How, with been, the full length long drive? Like, 46 and a half has always been mine. Okay. This one I'm hitting yeah. today is the Epic Flash Callaway. Uh, 45 inch, mm -hmm. but I'm a, I want, I've got a shaft coming to try, try this at 47. What's normal? 45 and a half? 45 or 45 and a half. Okay. Yeah. But on, on the long drive tour, they're hitting 48 inches. We got a par three. So let's, uh, oh. let's see what we got. It's a long one. All right. The sun's getting a little lower. It's really getting pretty here. Jayhawk club. All right. 225 pins in the back. All right, so John's gonna only has seven irons the longest club you have, so this is I'm driver and seven iron. I didn't bring my full bag. Gonna yet. try to be a nuclear seven iron. Gonna go nuclear. Kind of hit a rope putt. Give a little bubba action. Oh, you rope hooked it. You just started it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Actually, hit that really far, but. Offline. Going yeah, right exactly. to left a little bit. I got a lot of green. I got a side hill Y, and I got kind of a weird fluffy lie. So I really need to kind of pinch, uh, you know, pinch this through. And I'm really gonna feel the tour tempo tones here, which for the short game is bump, 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 just to keep my rhythm where it should be. Those three beats were perfectly separated. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it's bump, bump, bump. That start, top, impact. And if I kind of keep that focus on the rhythm, mm -hmm. that'll keep my club going. The, whatever I decide that the length of the swing is, it'll keep it going that way. And by the way, how much do you think this is going to break? Uh, I would go just like a foot from where the, the see where the tooth of the shadow, the light is going in. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's that two to one rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. You went a little higher, but it actually... Okay, so then that's about as, right, as much you missed right. it, yeah. Pretty good. Should be good. Go. Awesome. All right, I wouldn't want it back. No, that's got it. One of the big questions we always get is, when do I use the full swing tones and when do I use short game tones? Yeah, at what point? Yeah, at what point? And so obviously we're around the green, we're using short game tones. But what I tell people is, if you're not intending to go more than about 80, 85% on a full swing, then you should actually be short game. So back there in the fairway, where I hit that little punch nine iron, 140 mm -hmm. yards, yeah. that was more of a short game tempo. Uh, okay. Whereas on the golf, uh, you know, on the, on the tee, when I'm trying to hit the seven iron 220, that's actually going to be three to one. Effort level, that nine iron you hit, how? I mean, that effort level. That was like 60% or? Yeah, 60, yeah. 50%, something. Okay. You know? I mean, even though it was not 50% of how far I hit a nine iron, it felt like, you know, I'm hitting this well within my reach. That broke away from the creek. It did. There's a. <laughs> It's, these are tough. Ah, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I gave up on it and then I then I then I it gave me that false hope. Yeah, you got double burn. That's all right. This co this course actually is not officially open yet, so <laughs> We don't know what happens around that corner. Yeah, so we've got, to, here's what we've so got. let's try to see an overview yeah, here. Yeah, we've got a little overview of this thing. Um, let's do a flyover. So that's where we're standing. Once, uh, let's see. So it's dog leg and left around there. It's, it's a par five. Oh, it's only 175 to that bunker? That yep. first bunker? Yep. 
Oh, okay. But this is from where we're standing because okay. of the dog leg. Well, let's go back on the tee because I think it's going to look a oh, lot okay. different from back oh, there. Oh, 236 to the front of the front bunker. Now, let me see that. that. Yep. Two. All right, so we got 238 to that. 246. Okay, I know what shadow hit. And then if you're trying to clear all that, 325 or so. That's where I'm going. All right, let's see you do it. All right, you want me to go? There you go. Oh, a little too much. But who knows, it goes over that way a lot. If there's still hill over there, it could kick down. Wow, that's perfect. A little easier hole for a right. That might be... I choked up on it quite okay, a bit. Yeah, we'll I see. saw it land. That was just a pretty little cut. Oh, that was a lot yeah, that more was solid. The one I just pulled a touch. Just yeah, the start line was a little off, but Wow. Go right. No. There. Oh, the right. member sounds. It really was. Good shot. Okay, there it is. 160.0. Okay. Boom, take it.